today we're getting the spares switched on. Hi, Mom. Now we get the new uppers on the rear since the rears are OEM shortened. Yeah, and you Mom. can't fit anything on there. So that's no uppers right now. So the wheels just wobbling back and forth. So we're gonna get those switched out. We we'll probably get this off trailer today. So this is what was on there. And that's what's going on there. And this is even the shorter It's a lot different. Big difference. I still got the shortened or extended tie rods. I think, I don't know. One or two, so this wheel's all out of whack. And this one's about as straight as you can get it. So I'm gonna have to take those off, get those changed. I didn't know that these were in the car, so I did order a new set of these. So I'm just going to return those and then order new tie rods. And I'm just going to basically rebuild the whole front suspension, whole rear too. I already got trailing arm bushings and some other stuff. I might try to find some, uh, I don't know if the DA Integra spindles are the same, but I know for mine to convert to rear disc, I got to get a DA. Hey, don't be drinking that. Y'all know who that is. Shit. Well, I was gonna return these, but this one's kind of got a backbone out, so it's not one to fit right. So I was gonna go ahead and replace them. There you go. Don't hurt, it's cheap as shit. I mean, like this is crazy. crazy. got all the camera removed. This time it's still a little get in, but we'll get adjusted. Need to get the tie rods changed so I can steer this thing. But I might get it off the other day. So I figured out I really won't have to extend my harness all that much. My injector wires are already extended there, right there. Might have to extend a little more, we'll see. But for the most part, all I have to do is run the two wires I have to plug into the harness in there. And then I'll just hide everything else underneath the intake manifold. You clean up all that wire lemming. Let me mask it in. So today I'm going to be cutting off some stuff, cutting off this bracket right now to uh, get it to fit my own okay, because it's currently fit. Ain't the prettiest, but you ain't going to be seeing it, so let's see if it fits now. I couldn't get the headers on. I've been banging this shit to make some clearance, but I finally just dropped the front brace and now it goes. Bang. I want to try to get these at least a good polish or something. I wanted to get them chrome plated, but I read a lot of places won't even chrome plate them because it won't withstand the heat. Uh, I'm gonna try to powder coat chrome some parts. I've seen something about that. But if anything, I'll just do a good polish on this. I don't know how good it's gonna withstand until it starts turning blue or something, but we'll see. Starting to get somewhere. I got the motor kind of cleaned up, refreshed, because it was freshly painted, but it got real dusty, so we kind of see what it's gonna look like in the final result. No, I'm probably gonna replace a lot of shit. Like, probably get a K-tune, bar position sensor, 
a uh, new k -Tune slave, and just some dumb fancy shit that they don't need, just because. So, I'm gonna start getting everything on. I'm gonna cut the hole so I can get the harness through the back, start wiring everything up. Uh, I got the headers on. I don't want to start putting suspension together because I want to get off the max gain rods. I'm trying to get these buddy clubs from a friend. I want to change these out for some K-Tune ones. And I really need to replace this. Probably get some drilled solder rotors. Update my brake calipers and shit. You can see all that clearance I made for the headers. It wasn't really needed, but at least it won't be hitting worst case you know what i mean i don't think it's on the ground right now but the clearance for the headers don't look too bad not bad a lot of things are going to need touched up i knew things were getting scratched up putting things in but just inevitable oh i got a couple bolts on here because of course i'm going to put shiny shits so i gotta place my old dipstick Still got to try to get that mount off since it's pointless now. I'm going to get these studs off. And uh, these holes for the upper control arm bolt, I'm really trying to get something like a, a cap 3D printed and then a spider sitting on top. So if anybody got 3D printer and think you can do that, want to help me out, it'd be cool. Have your name on the build, you know what I mean? I'm gonna turn this back on. I'm gonna draw off a little bit because I ain't got no weak bar down. Anyway. Got the dizzy plugged up. Pretty sure these three wires connect with these two wires. I gotta figure that out for sure. But just plugging everything in, figuring out what exactly needs to be extended. And where I'm gonna tuck all this. Give y'all the update when it's all plugged up. Then I got it done. The only thing I got on the motor that's not accounted for right now. Uh, these three wires right here. Or four, five. I don't know. Oh, okay, there's, oh no, that's it. That's it. Was. So there's this one right here, which, okay, there we go. That goes right there, obviously. Bada bing. And these four wires right here will go to a plug that connects into this. And maybe that's my oil pressure sensor. I'm not sure. This right here, I'm assuming, is my Speedo. The D15 was a cable one, so I'm going to have to figure that out on the YouTubes. So, I'm gonna go inside, take a break, maybe eat a sandwich, and do some more Googles. Oh, look, I'm missing a transmission bolt. Ta ha 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 ha. It's okay. Don't need that when we're going. I need to get these polished. If anybody local can do some polishing, I think they can get it to match my intake. We're halfway there, boys. Halfway there. All right, so I was going through the harness that I got with um, the D16 that I picked up. And we got a, a match. This right here, I forgot, goes right here. So I have to find the clue. And this, which I've been looking through, I'm not seeing yet. I was like, ooh, this, but I'm pretty sure this is the cabin harness. So I don't know, we're gonna have to figure that one out. Apparently, but I also figured out this is actually an O2 sensor. And this is not an oil pressure sensor. That's what I figured out this is. So I'm dumb as hell, boy. Don't know what I'm looking at. And just know I'm freaking making it go broom. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, I'm just doing something slight. Putting some grommets in the holes where the brake lines are going to go.
You say this is cooler than dad's car? Huh? Hey, is McClay's car cooler than my car? Yeah. What the? <laughs> Have him adopt you then, all right? All right. Why you bent like that? Hey, you're just like me for real. <laughs> hey, boy. How long you been walking? Watch the kids. Fun birthday girl's day. Dude, you still had a lot of time left. No, I did not. You have four minutes left. I have it on video. I do. Oh, okay. Come on. Give it. Give it a You driving it? So today I'm going to be switching out the tie rods. Just got them in yesterday. Because uh, bitch ass neighbors want to keep on calling the cops. So they came today. So even though it's cold as hell, I'm gonna go ahead and do this today. Get in the driveway. Now I can get my trailer pulled up. And not in front of the fire hydrant, because they can play about that too, because it's hard for them to back out of the driveway. <sighs> so let's get this done. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, you got the bug. Hey, let him live. Let him live. What did he do to you? Bada bang, bada boom. Bang boom. Bang boom. Wow. This is the new, so you can see they were shortened, not extended, as I had docked. What do you have to say about that? Mm, Whose car is this? Sky car. Oh, this guy's car? Yeah. Yep, and this is his car. I can never sell it now. He literally tells everybody it's his car. He claims it. So, this guy's car. <laughs> Go you know, get this done and then uh, get in the driveway. We got them all, boots changed and all. Our eyeball alignment, real quick. 
that's not bad. Let's see the driveway. So I got a sim tip the situation temporarily fixed. This big ass trailer don't really fit nowhere. This neighbor bitches when I park my truck here. That neighbor over there bitches when I park it by the fucking fire hydrant. So I can't really win. As you can see, I'm almost drop blocking his sideway sidewalk over there. And that's when he gets pissed off. Tell me I can get out of my driveway, but that's how this happened because Teodora sometimes cannot. So it's temporarily fixed. At least this is in the driveway. Cops can't say shit. And now it's one step closer to getting the motor in. I just uh, bought motor mounts. I actually got quick release uh, hood latches for it today. So just a bunch of odds and end pieces. Not really too focused on it right now. I got, this is the last week I leave Thursday until get low Houston. So I'm really trying to kind of bust down, make sure orders are out, make sure I have everything prepped and everything for the Houston show, so at least we get shit done still. Bada bing, bada boom. Eventually I'll put my trailer, I keep it right here in this little area and it fits pretty nice, but I need to go pick up my van, so I'm not really trying to put it up until I need to, because it's also, it gets real slippery and muddy all in that area, so. Bada bing, bada boom, not bad. Got the tie rods changed out. Shitty alignment, forgot to uh, straighten out the steering wheel, but it's not too far off. Maybe like a quarter inch or something. Not bad, not bad.